So it's August 21st. I don't know if you can see how bad the smoke is right now. Um, driving on Route 2 on the south end of Glacier Park. Heading out to hit those antelope again. So it's Wednesday, August 22nd. And here I am. Looking for antelope. I came out yesterday and I'm seeing nothing. So I set up a ground blind on a new water hole I haven't tried yet yesterday. Um, it's a little bit too far to reach both ends of the water hole. It looks like it's uh, 70 yards to one corner and almost 80 yards to the other. I can't make those shots. So uh, on the compound bow, I stay well under 60 yards, about 50 yards. And on the traditional bow, I stay, I try and stay at 25 yards. So, we'll see what we can make happen. I'm looking around one of my older areas. Uh, I haven't been back here in a year. This was real productive for mule deer where I'm going to go. Um, I had a tough time with antelope here. But I'm going to take a quick look around, do a little glassing, and then head out to my antelope spot. So we had a lot of rain. Uh, late, late in the summer, and this is what I'm dealing with. See this all flooded here, even the road flooded. In the past, I only had small water holes out here. So if I put the pop-up lined up, the antelope, the deer might not like it, but eventually they become acclimated and they'll go to it. When the water is that big, which is what I'm finding, all the water holes out here are kind of flooded, the antelope will see the water, the pop-up line, and they'll go drink at the far end of the water hole. They're out of bow range for me. So my tactic for antelope early season, like now, you know, late August to early antelope season, was always to get on the water hole. Uh, they come in tight, funneled in, and I get a shot. But as you can see, here's another one coming up. All my little water holes are flooded. So, that's what I got. So I got uh, a new water hole from my friend Carl Matson gave me to sit on on his farm. And it's a little bit big uh, for shooting this year, but I think I'm gonna try and establish it as a permanent spot. And then when the years are good with the water, I'll use it, and if not, back to stalking. And there's the Matsons that let me hunt their farm out there doing their harvesting harvesting wheat a lot of work now at harvest time everybody helps out so there'll be no socializing with them today let's see if I can still find some antelope one last try. There's a coolie up here around this bend. Sometimes they're down in there. If I see some, I might try and put a stalk on them. Otherwise, I'm going to head over to the water hole and just sit there. Because I'm seeing nobody out today. So, this is the last coolie I wanted to look at. Let's see if there's any antelope around here. Put a stalk on. Oh my god. Look at that. Dang. Oh. Well, here they all are. Well, now I'm going to get on them. Look at this. Look how many... Oh, my God. The freaking petting zoo. Oh, my God. The world is able to... This is not going to be easy. I got to figure out a way to get on them. And I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Uh, uh. I will be amazed if this works. All right, you ready for the craziest thing I've done? I did it once before. It didn't work. So I'm going to change my shirt to this shirt. White on the, on the front, tan on the sleeves. I got tan pants on. And look at the hat I'm going to wear. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, I'm going to put my pad on and see if I can walk right up to them like this. They say it works. I think I'm just going to be the laughing stock unless I get one. Let's see what happens. That, my friends, was a complete failure. You can't even see them. They all ran away. Dang. Complete failure. Now they're all staring at me. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> and this, my friends, goes under the category of complete failure. <laughs> well, since my antelope outfit was a miserable failure, and I scared those antelope away for a good year, I guess, back to my other spot I set up yesterday, and that's the uh, pop-up blind I just put out, the water hole, and I think I'll finish today with about two hours in that. See how it goes. So, time to just plant my butt in my blind, and see if anybody comes in. So this is the end of this clip, this video. And there is time left in August, but I have to get the video clip in to the editor so he can get up for September. And it's a nice way to finish. It's relaxing, sitting on a water hole. Uh, like I said earlier, the water holes might not be that productive because there's too much water. Um, plenty of places for the animals to drink. They don't have to come in here. But um, I still like to finish a uh, hunt here. When I'm out this far from home. Before I go home, I like to spend time here. It's relaxing. And let's see if I can see that duck. Just went into the reeds there. So I'm not the bird expert in the family. That's my wife, Lucy. I just take some video and pictures of the birds. Then Lucy tells me what they are when I get home. Uh, I was watching uh, a hawk trying to get a duck, I guess, or pestering it before anyway. And what else do we got out there? Oh, a couple of ducks. So all this stuff going on here at the water hole. It's a fun way to end the hunt. It's relaxing. Bring a book. Water hole, the, I'm sorry, not the water hole. The ground blinds are very forgiving. You can move around all you want, stretch a bit and nobody can see me well that's it and next month will be deer antelope and elk archery hunting hopefully i'll come through for you people and have something on the ground to, to look at um that's it for now see you next month